Hey guys, welcome back for another Trick Tip Tuesday. And for today's tip, I'm going to be talking to you guys about linear stretching. So, um, linear stretching is uh, a different, it's a different form of being able to stretch uh, your panel on a planishing hammer or a power hammer. Um, basically, uh, on, a, on a planishing hammer, most of the time your dies are just round. So the contact area of the of the round die is just a normal circle shape and as you hammer your part uh, in a planishing hammer it stretches the metal out in all directions all the way around. So it's going to be forcing the metal uh, to stretch and move uh, in all directions as it hits on a round die. So linear stretching uh, is stretching the material in more of a uh, of a line, so linear. So in a way that uh, is gonna force the material to stretch more uh, in uh, two directions instead of, uh, instead of like the 360 you know, direction on a normal die. So this here is our linear stretching die for these Proline hammers. So uh, I'll try to put a picture up on the screen of the uh, the contact area that you can actually see in the top of the die, but basically what it looks like when you see the contact area uh, It looks kind of like this and So that contact area as it hits on You know your material when you're running it through there most of the stretching is happening uh, in this direction, so it's going to stretch out you know that direction and then out this direction and it's not really going to you might you know you get a little bit of stretch out of here just a little bit but not too much so most of the stretching is happening in the directions uh, on the long side of the contact area so linear being the line it's going to stretch more in a line than a circle uh, on the contact area so um, what you would use that for um, you can use it for stretching a flange. Um, you know, you would think of stretching a flange on, say, a shrinker stretcher machine, where on a shrinker stretcher you have two dies that uh, usually on a stretching side, these dies are actually really close together, so there's not really much a gap here. So when the dies come together, they, they grab the metal and they move outward in a direction uh, like that, and that's a similar action to what is going to be going on uh, on a linear stretch die. So uh, basically as it hammers in that line, it forces the metal you know, apart that way so you can get some stretch. So uh, for starters here, uh, this is some pretty thin 040 aluminum uh, for the demo's sake. Uh, you can, this works on thicker steel, 16 gauge, that sort of thing too. Um, but for the sake of demo, uh, using some pretty thin aluminum. So uh, I just have the machine turned down fairly low because I want to run this bent 90 degree uh, flange uh, on the linear stretch dies to show how you can actually stretch a flange and put some uh, curve in a you know flanged part like this. So that was just a little bit just to kind of show, uh, you know, what it's doing and, and the contact area is actually uh, wider on this because of that shape there. And so as it hammers down through there, you get all these lines next to each other and it's doing that stretching motion. So um, I'll turn this up a little bit to make it work a little faster. So you can see just with that, you put that little bit of curve in that flange, it's doing a similar action, like I said, to a shrinker stretcher type machine uh, on the stretcher jaws. So um, you can easily stretch something like this. Now where linear stretch dies can really uh, come in handy is uh, the shape that everybody has the hardest time with, which is a reverse curve. So a reverse curve, most of the time on a planching hammer, an English wheel, that sort of thing, you're making a compound curve, which it curves this way, it curves this way. You're kind of making like a dish, a bowl type shape. Uh, 
essentially if you were to keep working on something you can make that kind of shape because that's what stretching the metal does uh, with a flat die on top round die on the bottom you're going to put that compound curve in it to make a dish type shape well with a linear stretch die uh, it's actually going to just like it did on the flange it's going to stretch the edge of a piece of metal in a way where uh, it's only going to stretch it more in just the two directions you know this way so when you stretch the edge of a panel and you stretch the other edge of a panel you can start to create uh, that reverse curve shape which is going to have it's going to start to flange it down this way but it's also going to curve the panel the opposite direction for that reverse curve so uh, i'll just run this on here so you can see just with that little bit this was totally flat and now we have curve this direction but we also have some curve uh, in this direction. So uh, they're opposite uh, directions as opposed to, you know, like I said, a regular uh, planching die that's going to curve it, you know, all in the same direction. So just with that, if you run the other side, you get the same result. So you can see it's getting the curve this way and then it has it in the opposite direction there. Like I said, this is really thin 040 aluminum. Uh, did it just to really show, you know, how quickly, uh, you know, you can move metal, but also to show, obviously, for the speed of the video to show you guys, you know, how fast uh, this can move, you know, something in this way. So, um, you know, if I was to swap the top die out, which I'll do real quick, I'm gonna go to a smaller top die on this machine uh, in order to uh, basically get a little tighter to the die so we have a reverse curve upper die for this machine for doing what we were just doing there so uh, this die is smaller in diameter this way and it also has a little bit of a radius uh, a softer radius cut on the edges so I'm gonna put this in here, get that die set in place now uh, you can see on this, uh, hopefully you can see there's some lines uh, out away from where the die was hammering, and that was from the edge of the top die. So with this smaller die in here, I'll be able to get in a little tighter. Now on a reverse curve like this, you know, you would basically do less stretching towards the middle of your part and more stretching towards the outside edge. So. So there is a pretty good example of a quick reverse curve using a linear stretch die uh, and how fast you can make a part that has a sweep in one direction but curves in the other way. So uh, hopefully uh, this will teach you a little bit more about linear stretching and how you can use it uh, on your projects. And uh, thanks for watching this week's trick tip. If you have any ideas, email us tips at tricktools.com and we'll see if we can get them in these videos. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.